Okay, let's go ahead and back up to the beginning. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on your win. That is very, very exciting news, and I feel honored to be speaking to the best football team in town. Uh, we play basketball. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Don't listen to me. I live in the mountains with a flock of goats. I know nothing about foot hoops or ball rackets. I do know, however, about stress and how to handle it in my daily life. My name is Kip, and your coach has asked me to speak to you about how to deal with stress. Okay. Well, we all know that stress is out there, around every corner. I was once very stressed myself, but now look at me. I do yoga 43 times a day. Now, there are two types of stress, eustress, which is positive, and distress, which is negative. Stress impacts our bodies. Even in fit young people like you, it can cause physical changes, more changes than we have time to list. But I will tell you that it can also weaken the immune system, making you more susceptible to infections or illness such as gangrene or trench foot, both very popular on my mountain. Let me ask you, did you know that there is a relationship between stress and disease? It's true. There's even a name for the relationship, general adaptation syndrome. This is your body's typical response to long-term stress. Now, let's look at the three stages. First, we have alarm stage. In the alarm stage, your mind and body become more alert. You begin a fight-or-flight response. And all the energy in your body goes towards heating the demand. People in the alarm stage often experience headaches, stomach aches, difficulty sleeping, and anxiety. I'd just like to mention that I am not one of these people. Now, when the stress continues, many people transition to the resistance stage, where they are still battling the stress. On the upside... They're more resistant to disease and injury in this stage, but don't be fooled. This resistance doesn't last forever. Neither does the romantic notion of living with a flock of mountain goats and eating sand. Finally, if the stress continues, you will move into the exhaustion stage. By this point, your body is completely worn out and cannot resist the stressor any longer. And if there are multiple stressors, <laughs> good luck, compadres. Your exhaustion will be even more extreme. You will more than likely experience a temporary shutdown, which means you're unable to fight any further illness. Now, there are typical diseases and disorders related to long-term stress. Tension headaches, cold and flu, migraine headaches, heart disease, high blood pressure, anxiety disorders, and lots of others. Well, that about does it. I hope this has been enlightening and helpful and completely stress-free. Any questions? Anyone? How about food? Does anyone have a sandwich or a snack bar? No? <laughs> okay, then.